In this quick video, we're going to compare Thunderbird and Outlook, two popular email clients, and highlight the key differences between them. Whether you're trying to decide which one to use, or just curious about what sets them apart, here's what you need to know. Let's start with Thunderbird. The interface is clean and simple, but it's a bit dated compared to some modern email clients. Thunderbird really focuses on core functionality, prioritizing usefulness over aesthetics. While it doesn't have the most polished look, it offers customization options, such as themes and add-ons, to help you make it work the way you want. It's free open source and doesn't require a premium subscription to access most features, making it an excellent option for individual users, freelancers, or smaller businesses. On the flip side, Microsoft Outlook has a much more modern and polished interface, making it visually appealing and more user-friendly, especially in business settings. It integrates a lot of features into a streamlined toolbar, making it easy to access tools like Calendar, Contacts, and Tasks. If you're part of a larger company or work in a professional environment, Outlook is the go-to choice. However, you do need an Office 365 subscription to get full access to its premium features like collaboration with SharePoint, OneDrive, and Teams. Thunderbird supports a wide range of email protocols, so you can use it with services like Gmail, Yahoo, and Outlook itself. It also has a robust calendar and good support for add-ons, allowing you to customize it for your needs. Thunderbird is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux, making it highly versatile across different platforms. Outlook also works across these platforms, but you'll need a subscription for full functionality, including advanced task management, scheduling, and integration with other Microsoft Office tools. When it comes to security, Thunderbird is open source, which means it's transparent about how it operates. It supports strong encryption protocols, and because it doesn't collect user data, there are no concerns about privacy. Outlook, on the other hand, offers built-in encryption and more enterprise-level security features. Cost is another important factor. Thunderbird is completely free, making it an excellent option for users who want powerful email management without paying for it. In contrast, Outlook is part of the Office 365 subscription package, which can add up over time, but it does come with a lot of extra business-focused features, such as task management, scheduling tools, and integration with other Microsoft services. Both Thunderbird and Outlook are fast and efficient in terms of performance, so it really comes down to your needs. Thunderbird is ideal for individual users, freelancers, or small businesses that want a simple, cost-effective solution. Meanwhile, Outlook is better suited for professionals, enterprises, or anyone who needs deep integration with the Microsoft Office ecosystem and advanced collaboration tools. If you're looking for a free, open-source, customizable email client with solid features, Thunderbird is a great choice. On the other hand, if you're working in a corporate environment and need a polished, feature-rich tool with seamless integration into Office 365, Outlook is the way to go. Both have their strengths, so it really depends on what kind of experience you're looking for.